everybody and welcome back to Mooty Plays Pokemon Crystal version! Today we are going to finish off our little romp through the SSN! Starting with finding this little girl who needs to be reunited with her grandpa. Now, something that's a little bit of bulky is that uh, in this version you just get teleported straight to you. the grandpa's cavern. Grandpa's cabin with the little girl, but uh, in the remakes, they turn it into a hide and seek game, and I see absolutely no reason why. Yes, she's an energetic child, but if she's running around the ship unsupervised, it really should not be a good idea to humor her and uh, play a game with her before she. Goes, uh, those are my best. Before she goes uh, to return to her grandpa, she, depending on how old she is, she should be with her grandpa the entire time. I, and that is a uh, Snorlax that is blocking her path. Like, uh, I don't mean to comment about how people should raise kids, but at least uh, when I was a kid. Uh, I had to age a little bit before my mom would let me run around a store by myself. Like, uh... If it was something like a 7-Eleven, yeah, it was small enough. It'd be easy to find me when, uh... She's done getting the stuff she needs from the place, but, uh... It's a bigger store, like a Walmart, she'd have me stay with her and stuff. Yeah. But, uh, here! We have entered the Vermilion City Gym, and guess what? This is the only generation where you can get 16 badges. And at that time, it was really freaking awesome, because, uh... You got to beat the new place, and then, as... Uh... A nice little continuity knock, you got to go back to the old place and go conquer that! And, uh... Well, I will say I am a bit sad that there's not much after-game plot. Eh. It at least, uh, gives us something to do that takes a bit longer to take care of than just, uh, finding six people or... A lot more new places to explore than, uh, the regions have given. Excuse me for. Oh, didn't, oh, no, never mind, never mind. I found the thing I was thinking of. Let's see how good this works. Going to use a hair tie to tie my hands and, and keeping them in a place where they can't move easily, so hopefully, no more annoying noises from the felt around. Uh, and one nice thing about uh, going back to this gym is that uh, you don't have to deal with the gym's puzzle on the second time around. You, you just have to fight the trainers and then go to the gym leader. And uh, the puzzle in this gym was that there were two switches underneath the trash cans, and which trash cans had the switch was completely and totally randomized. And if you found one trash can, the next trash can you had to talk to, or examine, had to be the one with the second trash can, but, uh, with the second, um, switch in it, but, uh, if, if the trash can you talked to just had a bunch of trash in it, uh, the whole puzzle would be reset, and 
the switches would magically move to be underneath another trash can. Another pair of trash cans. And that could have been something to be quite frustrating about uh, going up to this gym in the first generation. And, uh, I forget if they brought the puzzle back in the remake, so I hope they didn't. That'd be awfully annoying. No, uh... No. Now, uh, hmm. Electric types, since, uh, this gym is... has specialized... specializes in electricity. Mm -hmm. I like Jolteon, uh, as I've mentioned before. My pride and joy, back when I was still, uh, EV training, was a Jolteon that I got to, uh, hit max EVs at level 13. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Gen 2. Nothing from Gen 2 really sticks out to me. Sticks out there. Gen 4? Mm. Well, Pachi Lisa is quite cute. And, um. Nothing that really sticks out to me. Emoga and um, Electros is pretty good too. Uh, hmm. Let's see. That's not an electric type. I'm just not that terribly impressed by electric types. Hmm. I do like uh, the concept behind their statting, at least, uh, in that um, they tend to be faster than most Pokemon. But uh, other than that, there's not really much that appeals to me. With the uh, electric types. Hmm. Though I will use them if uh, I need them for the Elite Four or something. They're just. Meh. Hmm. And uh, let's see. Well, that Fluffy is pretty cute. Done with that, uh, gentlemen, and uh, please tell me that was the last guy. Please tell me that was the last guy. Oh, yes. Alright, now, uh, one thing you're gonna want to. Well, uh, hey, little tight guy, I have to hand it to you. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in war. And now, awesome music. And, uh, 
got to comment on it, because uh, I wasn't paying attention to the sound uh, earlier, but... Uh, did you notice the cool Kanto remixes of uh, the different um, songs? I hope you did. And oh my gosh, the gym leader one really shines on me. Because it's like, EXTREME TO THE MAXIMUM! And it just starts off with this epic guitar riff, or whatever you would call that. And, uh, now that we are in battle, uh, we are fighting Lieutenant Surge, the electric gym leader of Kanto. And his specialty in... His strategy in this particular game is to, uh... Use double team and make it really difficult for your Pokemon to hit his. So, if you have a move like Swift or, uh... Using Letty's, uh, Faint Attack as an example, uh... You should be okay with the perfect, with the accuracy thing, and, uh, oh gosh, combining the paralysis on top of that, oh, that is nasty. Though that does remind me, uh, I think I've talked about this, but, uh, one thing I really like about a Togekiss, uh, is that, uh, if you have one with Serene Grace and you cram its move pool full of moves that, uh, induce flinching, uh, and, uh, have its fourth move be, uh, Thunder Wave, you could, uh, paralyze the enemy and then, uh, oh, and equip a King's Rock to it. You could paralyze the enemy and then take advantage of the high flinch chance and basically render it so that your enemy cannot move. And oh my gosh, that is just wicked to me. And I love it because it's my favorite Pokemon. I found this one uh GIF GIF uh file uh a while back it was Togekiss with the awesome face, I believe it's called. And uh, in the background, it was flashing uh, red and yellow beams. And, and uh, as it was flashing, it flashed the word flinch, and <laughs> just the way it looked was so hilarious to me. I can't find it. And oh my gosh, I want to find it again so I can save it and stuff. <sighs> but, uh... But I shall deal with my lack of having it, and wow, that is quite annoying. We'll restore to recover the HP and the um, paralysis, and <laughs> and Rory's relief. And this is a double thing. Let's do it. It could also be useful to have disable, like uh, if it uh, uses double team once and your Pokemon's uh, fast enough to move first, or if you're lucky enough to use disable on the turn it uses double team, uh, that could be a good way to circumvent it. And uh, down goes that electrode. And what is his next? Ooh, his vinyl Pokemon. Final Pokemon shall be an Electabuzz. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I forget. In the remix, is his Electabuzz an Electivire? Since you should technically have the National Dex hmm. after the credits, or do the. Oh my gosh, it has been much too long since I've played that long. Played that far into the game. I need to play more. 
but ooh, thunder. That is a nasty move. Not terribly accurate, unless you're using Rain Dance, but uh... I believe it's the most powerful electric move, the most powerful special electric move. Without uh, altering your stats or anything. But, uh, hopefully Luke can take this thing down. Come on, come on! Yes! Who's your good puppy? Who's your good little Luke? Who's your good little puppy? Who's the bestest puppy ever? Oh, you bitch, this booby of a oh, you should go to oh, you should go to ah. And with that, uh, we have received our ninth badge the Thunder Badge. And amazingly, badges still boost your stats. Ah, but uh, now that we have oh, and um, Lieutenant Surge didn't do it uh, here, but uh, in the remakes, uh, every gym leader, even the ones in Kanto, give you a TM for uh, defeating them. Uh, I think Surge might give you Zapkin? No, wait, no. Uh, I don't know. Shockwave, uh, I think. Shockwave must be it. But, uh, why did I go into that house to talk to that Clefairy, well, uh, keep an eye out, because it'll be important later. And quick little heal, and now we head north. And let's see. A Pokefan with a Fanfy. Hmm, that's interesting. Can't tell trainer with the, uh, Jotel Pokemon, though, uh, I don't remember the level Fanfy's supposed to evolve at, but I'm fairly certain that's much too high. It should be evolved by now. This stupid little... And down with his Fanfy, and let's see, what does this guy have? He has... By the way, why is there a little boy in his, um, in Battle Sprite, but not on his, uh, Outworld Sprite? Is it, uh, because of the, um, character limitations? Hmm, but, uh, cute little Teddy Ursa, just like the twins on the boat. Yay! And... Quarter of a Yeah. But, uh, done with that guy. And now we continue to head north. And no other trainers on this route, sadly. And up through here. Nothing walking our way. And now we are in Saffron City! Yay! And now we go over into this guy. It, this is Mr. Psychic's house. And if you talk to him, he will give you the TM for Psychic. Which, uh... I was so, so happy once I got this TM because now I can finally have Maya play as a Psychic type without having to wait for level 60. Yay!